Ready? And this is actually the last of the default maps of the game. And there's only two more hidden maps that I have left to show off. And the other hidden maps that I've yet to unlock, I have no clue how to unlock them. I really don't, so I apologize if I, that I can't show off every single map in the game. It sucks, but oh well. That's the way it is. And I guess another thing worth mentioning as well, as far as this map's gimmick goes, the bombs are much harder to see because they are in the grass. <laughs> and I guess another thing worth pointing out as well, after a certain period of time passes, uh, after a certain period of time passes, the uh, blocks will start to appear again after you've destroyed them all. And if you're caught within the spawn point of when the particular object spawns, then you are going to get killed instantly. So, Ready, yeah. Go. And I have no idea why everyone starts in the air. I don't know what it is. Must be a programming error. Or maybe it's just the way the stage is set up where everyone spawns at first. And also the power-ups are slightly harder to see as well. But they're not too hard to see. Oh, that was close. Okay, Black Bomber's got the bombs. Oh, shoot. Ooh, that was close. Again. Looks like we got problems over here. Still dancing with the devil. What can I say about the stage? It definitely is a lot of fun. A lot of the stages in this game are fun. They really are. And Blue Bomber killed himself. Of course. That was expected. That was also expected. Go away, Red Bomber. I don't want you here. Oh yeah, I'm the winner. Or not. And there we go. Go away, Red Bomber. Oops. Also, another power-up worth mentioning is the Demon Mask. Select this, I mean, grab this power-up, and, well, certain obstacles appear. In this case, it's a tornado. And when the certain obstacle... Get off of me! Ah, dang it. Oh, well. Well, at least the uh, Bomberman... Red Bomber won once, or something. But, we're gonna do this again. And also the default timer for when you set the amount of time you want to spend at this place before sudden death occurs is two minutes. So, yeah, the fights don't last that long. Well, actually, they kind of do. They do last for quite a while. So, I guess that's something else worth bringing up. Probably shouldn't have set it for like uh, three minutes instead of two. Again, that's just me. And uh, I must have grabbed red bombs unknowingly. So, what can I say about multiplayer overall? A lot of fun, you just gotta keep moving. And if you have red bombs, yeah, you're probably most likely going to win. If you have them. Just be sure you don't use them the wrong way. And if you do, obviously you're going to be in trouble. And also, another way to kill an enemy. You can obviously throw him off the stage. Okay, so that's what the ghost uh, does, I think. Okay, Blue Bomber killed himself! Again! And that's my second win! Again! Yay! <laughs> it was so much fun. You know what, I'll go ahead and show off Team Battle. And let's keep them all at level 3. And once you select a Team Battle, Team Battle actually works differently according to, let's say, single battle. Single battle, obviously, you work together to kill all the enemies. So, team battle works a bit differently. In team battle, your team is... Your task is to guard a particular crystal and destroy the opposing team's crystal. And once the enemy crystal is destroyed, then you win the round. And let's actually start team battle in the gutter. Ready, go! 
So, since I'm on the blue team, we are obviously the blue team. And our crystal is blue. Oh, shoot. Dang it. That sucked. And also, another thing worth mentioning, too, is that, uh... If you die, you don't need to worry too much, but the respawn time is quite ridiculous. It does last for quite a while. And also, everyone has infinite respawns, too, so they can come back as many times as they please. But you can take them out for quite a bit of time. And I'm not sure, but I think if you throw a crystal off the stage, then it'll just, uh count as a hit from a crystal. And also when a crystal gets destroyed or whatever, or, I don't know. Okay, yeah. If a crystal is thrown off the stage, then they just simply respawn and don't deplete your current crystal count. So, yeah. Or is it gems? Yeah, it's a gem! Why did I call it a crystal? I don't know. Oh well, we're almost finished. They only have one life for their crystal left. So I guess one thing you could do is just, uh, you know, make it so... Uh, dang it! Ugh. You can make it so one person is carrying the crystal and the other person simply trying to go around the fence and trying to, you know, destroy the crystals. And I guess another thing worth mentioning as well, well, as far as game mechanics go... Uh... Dang it! What? Oops. Wrong button. Wrong button. Uh, I guess the gimmick for this stage is the current. Depending on which direction this evil floating fish is turning, that is going to be the current of which the water is going to be flowing from. And I guess another strategy worth using as well is you can intentionally throw the crystal off the stage. I mean, the gem off the stage. And that'll actually work out quite nicely in your favor most of the time. And I'm not sure. I think bombs actually take longer to detonate on the stage than any other because of you being on water, obviously. And wow! Okay, I guess another thing worth pointing out as well is that big bombs count as two hits, I think. Don't they? I don't know. And since we've won this team battle, we get a double victory pose! And also no congratulations shows up on screen unless two human players are playing, and obviously using their own costumes. So, yeah, just thought I'd point that out. And now, let's actually do one more team battle. This time, we're going to keep them at level 3, and it's going to be 3v1. I'm an army of one, and we're going to play on Seasick. Oh man, this is going to be fun. And it's actually going to be a nice change of pace, because I've been dominating for almost every single game. And, yeah, let's actually do something different. Let's stack the odds against me, like, on so many levels, and we should be fine. Eh <laughs> he can't get to my crystal! I mean, to my gem! Oh yeah, big bombs definitely count as two hits. And I think a single red bomb counts as two hits as well. And I think a big red bomb, which in this case would be like the tactical nuke, counts as four. I have no clue. And wow, I barely won that. Oh yeah, I'm an army of one, and also in team battles as well. I noticed that the that the bomber doesn't yell his like victory scream like yay, woohoo, whatever. Moving on. Ready, go. At least not for the human play, not for the CPU. And I threw the crystal off. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Uh oh, get out of here. You Let's see... Oh, that'll work, at least for now. Gimme that heart, gimme gimme, there we go. Oh, screw you. 
Oh wow, they can't even hit the broad side of a bar! I just I said that. Yeah, bye bye, Crystal. Or bye bye, Jim. It's a gem! Why do I keep calling it a crystal? Oh shoot. Hang it! I'm stuck! Haha! <laughs> Suicidal! And I barely won that too. Awesome! That was actually a nice change of pace, if I do say so myself, and that was actually a lot of fun. Despite a couple of close calls, but whatever! And also, I guess another thing worth pointing out as well, even if you are the team of one, and you are wearing a costume, you don't get the congratulations thing, unless you're playing single battle. So, I guess the last thing worth doing now is, uh, one minute, and death ghosts are off. Oops, I forgot to confirm it. Keep it at two, one, off, there we go. And let's actually do, uh, team battle again. This time, we're actually going to, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep it the uh, 3v1. No, no, uh, you know what, screw it, yeah. We're going to keep it 3v1, at least for a little bit. And our first stop, as far as sudden death runs go, is Rock Garden, so let's get started now. Ready, go! <laughs> Hurry up! Okay, so some deaths don't occur during team battle. They only occur in single battle, so whoopsie! Uh, I guess I'll still keep playing anyway, but I will come back here again for when the uh, battle is won or lost. I don't know or care. Ooh. Oh, wow. I lost. Oh, well. Okay, let's try this again. And wow, the red gem actually decided to spawn right next to me. Isn't that awesome? What a nice game it is. And, uh, yeah, they destroyed my blue gem, of course. And I got stuck on the wall. I guess one other thing you can do, you can actually sacrifice yourself in order to save particular gems. Oh, also, I think if you are stuck in like a, a phase when you can't move, you just have to push the analog stick in the direction you want to go and you'll just go in that direction. So, yeah. I guess that's one thing we're playing out as well. So you're not totally defenseless. This is actually a lot more fun than single battle. Oh, dang it. And I guess another thing worth noting as well, even if you do sacrifice yourself, it may not necessarily be worth it because of the blast radius of the bomb. Wow, I barely survived that. And my gem only has one hit left. Will it go down? No, the red gem will. And I barely got to win with six seconds remaining. Wow. That took a little while, but I don't really care. Ready, go! Hurry up! Oh, man. I really don't understand why... Oh, wait. Yes, I do. The reason why, uh... You know, the sudden death thing doesn't happen in team battles is because it's because the conditions would be so insane that the gems would just simply die off on their own due to the conditions of which the sudden death battles provide rather than being killed by the bombers. You know, whatever, I don't really care. You or dang it. I mean, you can pick up the jam and just throw it and all that. Like you... Ah, uh, dang it. I've already explained it. Yeah, throw it off the stage, please. That would be nice. Yay, thank God for their stupidity. And I still win. But barely. 
Okay, let's actually show off what your what the sun deck conditions really are. So, I'll be right back. Alright, we are now in single battle again, and everyone's in for themselves, and holy crap, raining fireballs from the sky! And the sudden deaths really, really shake things up. And if every single bomber dies, obviously, it's a draw. And the rate at which the fireballs rain from the sky, they usually come in threes or fours. So watch out! And yay, fireball killed the black bomber! So, what can I talk about now? I am seriously enjoying this. I really am. I'm actually enjoying this more so than the actual adventure mode. Again, that's just my opinion. I mean, if any of you played the multiplayer... Whoops, I almost got killed. That would have sucked. And yay! Blue Bomber killed himself. And that's the end of that. Next place is up and down. And the sun death condition here is... The water level rises! It'll keep rising and rising until it reaches the top. Once it reaches the top of the stage, then the stage ends in a draw, or time runs out, whatever. Just whatever you do, don't fall into the water. Otherwise, it'll count as an instant death. Oh, wow. That was surprising. I really wish you could play this game in co-op. That would have been awesome. If you're in shallow water, and this is what I just noticed, if you're in shallow water, then you'll still be fine. Just don't let your head get completely submerged in water. And I guess another thing worth pointing out as well, while you're in the water, in the shallow well, shallow, shallow level, then you can't use your bombs, which is obvious. So let's go again. And maybe I should set the winds from 2 to 1. Just so we can get through these stages much more quickly. In fact, I may just do that. I may do that next time when we uh, finish up here. Oh my god. Blue Bomber's on fire. And I got burned! And he killed himself! Again! So it's a draw. Let's Here try again. Hurry up. Okay, so looking at my recording, I've been going on for uh, almost uh, 40 minutes now. Obviously, this is being split into multiple videos. And if you're seeing this on a Saturday, then I decided to upload on weekends too, just so we can uh, get this game done just a little bit more quickly. Obviously, I'm not going to be uploading every single part of the battle mode in one day. That would be stupid. And they both killed themselves because of the water. Awesome! So, I'm going to go ahead and change the battle win conditions to one, and then we will be proceeding onward to the next stage. One, and confirm. Single battle. Let's begin again with Pyramid. Ready? And of course, someone killed themselves already. Ooh, that was close. And much like up and down, the water level rises here too. However, it's not as fast. Ooh, bombs. And obviously, if you are on the lower level when the water rises up and, you know, above your head, then you die instantly. Bye bye, Red Bomber. And that's the end of that. Let's proceed onward to the next stage. Next up is Greedy Trap. And, like, pretty much like uh, the next stage, walls are going to be closing in. And obviously your battle space will become smaller and smaller for when more time passes and all that. Obviously use the high tier advantage and just only move down when the walls get too close. Bye bye, Red Bomber. That's the end. Next stage. See ya. Next up, top rules. And the death, con sun death condition, much like Greedy Trap, walls close in. 
Again, you have the height advantage, and you should be fine. Just, uh, if you fall down once the stairs are completely caved in, then... then you can't get back up to the top floor. So be careful of that. So what can I talk about now? I'm not very sure, actually. Again. I fell down. And also, it becomes harder to throw bombs. Oh, dang it! I lost! Oh, well. I guess we'll see Blue Bomber's anima winning animation, which is no different from the rest of us. Again. And... Oops. I skipped it by accident. Whoops. My bad. Let's proceed to Field of Grass. Ready? Go! And the sudden death condition here. Raining fireballs from the sky and Red Bomber dies instantly. Isn't that fun? And everyone dies. The end. Next stage. Okay, in the gutter. The sudden death condition here. Walls cave in. Well, the walls close in, rather. And obviously it becomes harder and harder to navigate as this as the walls come, come closer and closer, and if you hang out by a wall for too long, then you will somehow magically get sucked in, and you will die. As demonstrated by, obviously, the Red Bomber. Get away from me, Black Bomber! Seriously? God dang it. Ooh, that was close, and Red Black Bomber has been defeated. And also, if you happen to have a curse ail status ailment on you, you can actually pass it on to the next bomber by simply touching them. And, yeah. That's, you know, one little strategy for you if you have an ailment that you don't want. The only exception, obviously, is if you're lit on fire. So, of course, just thought I'd mention that. Last stop is Seasick. The reason why I say last stop, obviously, it's because these are all the stages I have available. And almost everyone died at the start again. Much like Field of Grass. And that's the end of Black Bomber. Blue Bomber will go shortly after. Or I will. I wonder, can I throw him off the stage? I think I can. I just don't want to try it right now. Ooh, man, this is getting intense. More fireballs raining from the sky, and more kicking of bombs and killing people with random fireballs of awesomeness that rain from the sky. And that's the end of all the stages in the game. Well, not really. Not all the stages in the game, but it's all the ones I can show off at the moment. And that is the end of this recording session. And that's the end of Let's Play Bomberman 64. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, and... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm signing out. This is Drunk Goomba 1645 with Let's Play Bomberman 64. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later for future Let's Plays. See you guys later. Hey guys, I have one more thing I wanted to point out before I close this Let's Play. I did actually find out how you're supposed to unlock the additional stages in the game. There are actually two methods of unlocking them. The first method is actually the easier of the two methods. The first method in either the adventure, battle, costume, or options menu, or custom whatever, just push start repeatedly until you hear a chime and you'll unlock all the hidden stages in the game until you reset your game. And the second method is you can unlock the first two hidden stages like I've previously showed off just by, uh, what was it again? Oh, that's right. You unlock the first two by beating the game completely and completing Rainbow Palace. And the second, I mean, uh, the next two hidden stages, and I actually found out how many hidden stages there were. There's actually four, not five. The last two hidden stages, which I was not able to show off, to unlock them, you have to get all 120 gold cards. 
And that's the end of that. And I hope this clears things up. And I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. And I'll see you guys next time or whatever. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching yet again. And I'll see you guys later for future Let's Plays.